What's going on everybody? This is Deshaun Johnson for isGodforAgainstMe.com and today's video is a very unique topic. How to succeed in your marriage and have better sex, better sex as a Christian. Now, before I even jump right into this, as unique as this topic is, let me start off by reading the scripture. I'm coming from 2 Samuel chapter 12, verse 24, and it reads, And David comforted Bathsheba, his wife, and went in unto her, and lay with her. And she bare a son, and he called his name Solomon, and the Lord loved him. Now, with the scripture like that, that scripture actually gives a very... It gives a very simple process into how you're supposed to approach sex with your spouse. And a lot of us men, we, we tend to have the caveman attitude when it actually comes to sex. Oh, I'm so horny. So I, I just need it right now. Oh, we, we tend to be a bit aggressive with our spouses. Some of us, it may not be all men, but I'm going to honestly just speak for me right now on this subject. Me coming from, if you look at my last video, a biblical solution to how to stop masturbating. I actually believe in that video. I give my personal account as to what struggles I actually had sexually and before I actually came into the Lord. My whole identity and my whole, the way I approach sex, just my whole mindset. And if I didn't, let me go ahead and speak on that now. Before I got married, I used, I was trying to dig into in and out of every woman that I possibly could, using my gift of gab for game and to try to game certain chicks to just get what I wanted. That's just what it was. And honestly, I, I did not know how to actually treat a woman. Like I, I knew based off of what I saw in movies, uh, based off of what I saw in just media, period, and just listening to a lot of rap songs, and that's, be honest with you, that's really it, you know. And 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 when you're watching, and actually uh, coming from the life that I am, because I was, I'm coming from a life of just watching like porn. That's just what it is, and that that tends to twist your mind and, and skew your perception on as far as the expectations of what you should have when it comes to sex with a woman, and then you actually can't get out of your head when they actually want to connect with you emotionally. And, and for me, I know for me personally, it was definitely hard to disconnect what I would see on screen from a pornographic image compared to what the actual reality was. It was hard for me to like separate that and it's still hard for me to this day. And I, I really have to work hard and, and try to be invested emotionally to make that connection with my wife because you know, even as we do unto the Lord, achieving true intimacy with the Lord is, is spending time talking, getting to know who he is. And, and women, they have that same sort of characteristics as God. And that's what they want. They want you to learn who they are. They want you to be emotionally invested with them and, and make that connection. And, and if you're coming from, like I did, from a life of porn and have those struggles, then it's going to make it harder. It's made it harder even still in my marriage because I'm still trying to decay a lot of those beliefs, those mindsets when it actually comes to sex. So I read this scripture to you to talk to you about, you know, David, he first comforted his wife. And first, let's talk about comforting. That's going to be different from everybody. That definition is going to be defined for every person, every couple based on their marriage relationship, that sort of thing. So that, that's number one. That's number one. And I, let me and let me speak. I'm only encouraging for this for married couples who actually have an establishment, who are actually practicing um, marriage in the or sex in a marital room. That's that's scriptorial. That's scriptorial. We'll get into details as far as defining marriage and that sort of thing. But that's scripture based. So that's that's who I'm directing. That's the audience that I'm actually talking to right now. So. That's number one, comforting. You have to define what comforts the wife that you're with, okay? Then number two, of course, David was able to go inside of her, and, and then they bore a child. They bore Solomon. So the word, the, the King James Bible, other versions may mention sexual immorality, just sex, but the King James Bible uses the word knew or know that when Adam knew Eve, knew, knew Eve, and that, that word, when you know you're making a connection. You're, you're making your your spirits are making this connection that God has had planned for that specific couple. So new is it carries a lot of weight to that word outside of just simply just having sex. Okay, that's what needs to be understood. But the big thing from this scripture is that there is a process: comfort, then the, the physical sex, and then 
the bearing of children. So in this video, it's, it's nothing super detailed right now. Maybe we'll get into this even in more depth later, but you, you have to figure out what comforts. For me, for my wife, she likes to have conversations. She wants to feel emotionally connected with me. Like she has some sort of connection with me before she could just feel like she's open up. You know, if a woman feels some kind of way towards you, it just makes it harder. So, but when y'all are, you know, tight like this, it does really does make the physical intimacy that much richer, that more exciting, and just a very memorable experience. Cause I even right now, I grew to times to like, when I, I would try to get it in with my wife, like, can't you just, give it to me right now can't you just open up i'm so horny and when i just get it like that and after it's done i feel so cheap i do i feel so cheap and even still the shame come ask myself like i just got it i'm having sex with my wife why do i still feel like i just had sex with a harlot and that's because of um, the way i approach actually having sex and, and getting it in for my wife so it, it is what it is this is this is scriptorial but i just wanted to cover a very you know on the surface right now that there is a process and that scripture, um, when I actually saw it, that's what the Lord showed me in terms of how to actually approach, you know, getting physical intimacy and having physical intimacy with my wife and how it correlates with him um, through that process. So once again, be sure to download the book, check out my video, other videos, and yeah, we'll talk soon. God bless. Thanks.